you go then. X30 Juniors, Caden McQueen and Reggie Dewey. Well, they've been battling sort of throughout the year so far. And sure enough, they're on the uh, front row of the grid for the X30 Junior final. Carly Atkins and Thomas Leban are on row two. Thomas Mills and Connor Clifford on row three. Kakpa Scusa and Joshua Torpy are on row four for this one. And Charles Betts and Joshua McLean are on row five. Nathan Clifford and Samuel Shaw are on row six with Alexander Johnston and Sam Heading on row seven. Row eight sees Rashan Chigarimbo uh, and Christian Brooks side by side. And then on row nine, it's going to be Jude Fernaho and Scott Sumpton. Finley Dunn and Ben McDowell round out the top 20. And then it's going to be Archie Brown and Robbie Stapleford on row 11. Oscar Joyce and Charlie Field on row 12. Row 13 is going to be Mason Reeve and Lorenzo Cordell. Kyle Dunford and Oliver Henwood on row 14. On row 15, it's going to be Daniel Amazigo and Lucas Romanek. And then on row 16 on this 32 car grid, it's going to be Jensen Buckingham, uh, Buckingham and Ben Jenkins. What I hear you cry is the situation in this championship. Well, going into today, I can tell you that... Uh, it was uh, Samuel Shaw who was leading this one with Joshua Torpy, ready doing. Uh, I've been gradually working his way up uh, uh, into third place. He's had uh, he had a disqualification back in round one. Did Reggie Dewey? But he's now hoping to mount a full-on championship challenge. And Caden McQueen was your finals winner last time out at round two, uh, but currently sits sixth in the championship. So Reggie Dewey and Katie McQueen could do with good results here. Samuel Shaw slightly further back on this grid. It was the points leader coming into today. Reggie Dewey in the 66 starts grid second. Katie McQueen is on grid one. Engine notes rise and away we go for the X30 Juniors final. It's a good start from Katie McQueen. It's a good start from the anti-pulse on the grid because Carly Atkins is up. Someone's going very wide there into turn two. But I think, oh, and there's contact there. Oh, big contact going up the bank. Uh, to the side of uh, of the uh, of the main straight there, up towards Christmas Corner, several carts involved, uh, multiple carts involved. In fact, it's um, uh, McLean, Charles Bett. No, they've gone through the first sector. Chigarimbo, uh, Christian Brooks, Ben McDowell, uh, Charlie Field, Mason Reeve, Kyle Dunford, uh, Oliver Henwood. I think was slowed up as well. Several carts involved. That's the 68 which is Ben McDowell who went the furthest off there and it all just bolts up, there's Ben McDowell. Well, that's why we have a grass bank, folks, to keep incidents like that nice and tame. Goodness me, that's the most dramatic start I think we've seen today. And we've got two carts out of that one. Uh, so the real uh, affected drivers there, Rashan Chigarimbo, Christian Brooks, Ben McDowell, Kyle Dunford, uh, were all involved in that incident, but it looks like those who have actually come to a stop uh, is Chigarimbo in the 92, Christian Brooks in the 82, Ben McDowell in the 68, the one we saw going well off to drivers left, and Carl Dunford in the 40. I think those all may be retirements. Goodness me, high drama here at the start of this one, but it's high drama at the front because Reggie Dewey is all over the back of Caden McQueen here. It's Caden McQueen, Reggie Dewey, uh, and Reggie Dewey's got past Carly Atkins on that lap as well for second place. So McQueen, Dewey, Atkins, Thomas Mills is in fourth, Thomas Levin in fifth, then Connor Clifford, Pat Pascuza, Samuel Shaw up to eighth, ahead of Nathan Clifford, and Joshua McLean just got past Josh Torpy for tenth place. Close quarter racing at the front of this one then. And yes, Chigarimbo, Christian Brooks, McDowell and Dunford all confirmed as retired from this race after that dramatic uh, start up at uh, Manuel's Bank, I believe that's called. That banking there off the drivers left just before Christmas corner. Look at this though, Reggie Dewey trying to hook under uh, Caden McQueen here. On to lap number four they go. And Carly Atkins trying to hook under Reggie Dewey as well. Trying to get any advantage that they can as they all side their way through. Already the leaders have gone through Christmas Corner as they head to Ashby. Breakaway group of three here. Meanwhile behind them, Mills is having to go defensive against Leban. The two Toms battling it out over fourth place. It's uh, Leban now past Mills. So Thomas Leban has got past for fourth place. 
Still McQueen leads Dewey and Atkins through the boot. Also, Samuel Shaw has got past Kat Pascuza. And is this the points leader into the champ in the championship coming into today at least? Coming back up through the field. I did think just as I was reading out the grid that there were a few drivers who felt sort of out of position who maybe had uh, bad luck in some of the finals. Top three come onto the back straight though. Caden McQueen, winner last time out in the finals. In round two, Reggie Dewey there is going to try and get a switch back through the second part of the boot, but it's not enough to capitalise on, and he holds station there. As they come through onto lap number six, Reggie Dewey, fastest lap of the race, a 45.2. He is as close as you like to the back of Caden McQueen. Also close, I think we just saw Joshua McQueen and Sam Heading come through in the back of the tenth. They're less than two tenths apart as well. Ooh, Thomas Levin now trying to get on to the back of them, trying to break the toe of Thomas Mills. Although at least both working together, it would seem to try and get on to the back of these top three. Connor Clifford holding station in sixth, Samuel Shaw up to seventh, as I mentioned. Still plenty of this one to go. The leader come around Paddock Corner again to begin a new lap. Fastest lap of the race from Caden McQueen at 45.16. through Oblivion and the Crook. Sam Heading has got past Joshua McLean, that's a bit close uh, for 10th place, so change of position there. Also further down, Daniel Amazigo um, has got past Finley Dunn for 16th place, and there are changes further back down in the field. Everyone's still mightily close. Samuel Shaw crossed the line right on the bumper of uh, Connor Clifford as well. And uh, so that's uh, in the battle over sixth place. This time it's Reggie Dewey who sets a fastest up of the race, which is why he's all over the back of uh, Caden McQueen as they come up the hill. Is there going to be an opportunity for Reggie Dewey? Is it too early for him to pounce, even if there is an opportunity? Might well be. What he doesn't want to do is open himself up to attack from Carly Atkins or indeed throw the wall back into the clutches of Thomas Levin and Thomas Mills. Samuel Shaw did indeed get past Connor Clifford for sixth place. So Sam Shaw is on a charge up through the field here. Alexander Johnston also just took right through the place of Charles Betts last time around. He's come back round to begin another tour of the circuit. There's the battle for fourth place. Thomas Levin and Mills and then Sam Shaw. That's them. And then you saw the 14 of Connor Clifford. And then Kat Pascuza and Nathan Clifford just came through the shot as well there. Plenty of battling throughout the field. This is the battle for four place, as I say. Levin, Mills and Shaw. Into Ashby they go. So we've got these two packs of three at the head of the field. The lead battle that we were looking at a lot. And then this pack of Thomas Levin, Thomas Mills and Samuel Shaw. Samuel Shaw, though, has just arrived on this scene and worked his way up through uh, the top ten. So is he going to try and arrive on the scene and use somewhat of the element of surprise? <laughs> Thomas Mills. There's the top three. And here's the back of the fourth place. And you know what Sam Shaw is all over the back of Tom Mills, as is Reggie Dewey all over the back of Caden McQueen, but still doesn't feel it's time to go for it. Thomas Levin just a bit ahead of Tom Mills and Sam Shaw. Nathan Clifford has got past Kak Pascuza for eighth place. And Amazigo has got past Oscar Joyce for 15th. They're so close all the way throughout the field here. Four and a half minutes plus a lap left to go then in the X30 Junior final here for round three. Round three of the 2019 WMKC. You can't really write the headlines yet, can you? Because there's no way of knowing who's going to win this one. Sam Shaw has got past Tom Mills, though. 
in that battle pack for fourth place, but the short, Sam Shaw, continues to work his way up, racing well here in the final. The race that counts the most is the points leader coming into today in this class. Sam Heading has got past Pat Pascusa now for ninth place. And Charles Betts has taken Archie Brown for 19th, so still changes every single lap here at Wilton Mill. As the lead pack comes through Paddock. Fantastic racing we are being treated to here. And you use this brief period of calm to say to anybody out there, if you're enjoying the racing, share the stream. Share the stream, share it on YouTube, share, well, share the YouTube stream, it's up the inside goes, uh, that was Thomas Mills and Sam Shaw, I believe it may well, no, it was Sam Heading or Nathan Clifford, I believe, getting by there, yes it was, Sam Heading now past uh, Nathan Clifford, frankly, of course, as I say, as we get a moment of calm, of course the drivers don't deny me that moment of calm, but yeah, if you're enjoying what you're seeing here, get talking about it on social media, get sharing, Facebook and YouTube. We would really appreciate your support this afternoon. Thank you very much so far for following the action here today. And what an amount of action we're being treated to here. Closing stages of the race then, and look at this. It's time to pounce for Sam Shaw up the inside of Tom Levin. Takes fourth place, beautifully done by Sam Shaw. Working very well here up through the top 10 goes Sam Shaw. Levin goes half on the attack, half on the defense against Mills because Tom Mills wants that place back remember before Sam Shaw arrived on the scene these two were battling anyway we cut back to the leaders because Reggie Dewey has gone up the ins he's gone past Caden McQueen change for the lead then with two minutes plus a lap to go Reggie Dewey gets himself to the head of the field and sets himself up for what would be his first uh, finals win of the uh, of the season but McQueen's going to come back at him into Christmas beautiful stuff between McQueen and Dewey McQueen back to the head of the field but look out for Carly Atkins he's right there ready to pick up the spoils of war should it come to it in the closing stages of this one through Wilkins they'll go again anything on into Ozias no not this time they'll come on through the back straight I reckon they've got another three laps to do though of this one Plenty of opportunity then. Just the opening skirmish there dealt with. Caden McQueen back in the lead of this one with Reggie Dewey right with him. Is there a run up the hill for Reggie Dewey? And he's going to jink to the inside. He's going to go for it. And up the inside goes Reggie Dewey. Caden McQueen doesn't try and hang around the outside. He gets right back onto the idea of quick get back onto the racing line and set up a retort to that move good heads up driving there Carly Atkins maybe a quick look to the right there just to see is anyone else catching up with us and there goes Caden McQueen that was from a long way back of Reggie doing oh that's uh, 23 of um, of Lewis Romanek uh, has had to park it at the side of the road so yellow flags there Reggie Dewey though under attack here from Carly Atkins and Carly Atkins goes through but he runs a bit wide and Reggie Dewey is he going to be able to get him back he's going to try and get the switch back out of the crook and up the hill Carly Atkins has pounced though and is now in second place and Reggie Dewey maybe needs to just hold station a little and they need to work together if they're going to set it up for either of them having a chance to get past Caden McQueen onto the last lap in fourth place in the background there's Sam Shaw and then it's the battle of the two Toms again still Levin ahead of Mills Sam Heading has got past Connor Clifford uh, for seventh place as there's a mechanical flag shown for the 79 of Archie Brown so he'll have to uh, visit the pit lane currently running in 20th place disappointment for him yellow flag still out for the Romanet cart that's off to driver's left couldn't quite see it there in your shot but it is still there Caden McQueen then leads them on to the last lap of the day for the X30 Juniors Who's going to take the win here? The top three head up the hill. Caden McQueen has a quick look over his shoulder. I don't think anyone's close enough to challenge him here. But they're all in the slipstream. They're all closing up. Is there going to be an opportunity into Ashby or Ozias or even the boot? Those are the other three prominent locations. He goes for it. Reggie Dewey goes for it on the inside of Carly Atkins and gets the job done. Brilliant stuff as they'll be heading through Wilkins now. But Reggie Dewey has got the job done on Carly Atkins, but I think in doing it, he's just about, I think he's made the judgment and said yellow's still out though at the boot, so that's going to neutralise it. So surely, Caden McQueen is going to hold on to this one. 
Caden McQueen is going to lead Reggie Dewey and Carly Atkins round the last corner to take the win. Caden McQueen wins, Reggie Dewey in second, and Carly Atkins rounds out the podium in the X30 Juniors. Sam Shaw brilliantly works his way up through the field to finish fourth. Thomas Levin finished ahead of Thomas Mills in fifth. Sam Heading in seventh, getting Connor Clifford towards the end there uh, for seventh. Nathan Clifford in ninth. Tenth is Joshua McLean. Josh Torpy is 11th. Kat Pascuza finishes in 12th. Jude Fernoho in 13th. Scott Sumpton in 14th, Daniel Amazigo in 15th, Oscar Joyce in 16th, Alexander Johnston is in uh, 17th. Uh, Archie, Bra uh, Archie Brown pulled into the pits, that's why uh, it's all changing on the time stream in front of me for that mechanical flag. Uh, Charles Betts finishes 18th, 19th for Finley Dunn, Lorenzo Cordal finishes 20th. As there are all of the carts that were involved in that first lap incident. Uh, Charlie Field finishes 21st, 22nd for Ben Jenkins. Jensen Buckingham finishes 23rd, 24th for Oliver Henwood. Mason Reeve in 25th, and Archie Brown is in 26th. Lucas Romanek had to retire for that race, as did due to the early on um, issue, uh, early on incident on lap one. Rashan Chigarimbo, Christian Brooks, Ben McDowell, and Carl Dunford. But what brilliant racing that was. Uh, throughout the field, in fact, but particularly those top three kept us entertained there. Caden McQueen takes a well-deserved victory ahead of Reggie Dewey and Carly Atkins. Brilliant stuff there from the X30 Juniors. Next will be the final in X30 Seniors.